guy's a very funny comedian. I've worked with him before a couple of times. Uh, he's very, very funny. He's appearing at Johnny D's in Somerville, Massachusetts on August the 7th. Please welcome Dan Bolger, everybody. Dan Bolger. All right. Craig Ferguson, everybody. How about that guy? That guy is the best guy. All right. Well, nice to be back. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I recently lost 30 pounds. That was good. Half of you clapped and the rest of you are like, whoa, you shouldn't have lost 30 pounds. <laughs> I am aware. There's a story behind it. It's not like I was trying to lose five pounds and I just shot by it. <laughs> I went to a doctor because I thought I had heartburn, but they never run any tests. They just looked at me and they were like, no, you have diabetes. So I was close. <laughs> Like, you ever go to a mechanic, and you're like, hey, I think the brake pads are getting thin. He's like, no, actually, the engine fell out about 10 miles ago. It's like that, but with a pancreas. So I stayed in the hospital there, and I learned a few things. One thing they told me, I can't drink booze anymore. <laughs> There's always one drunk. But well, they didn't tell me that. They told me I had diabetes, and I was like, oh, can I still drink? Which probably shouldn't have been the first question I asked. I probably should have been more like, what is diabetes? And so I was like, oh, can I still drink? And they're like, yeah, but you can only have like one. And I was like, no deal. <laughs> so I was sitting around, I was like, oh man, I can't drink anymore. I gotta figure out some way to get high. Cause I'm not just gonna live. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how to get high. And then I heard somewhere you get high from working out, which I now do every day. And let me tell you, that is not even kinda true. <laughs> but I do it. So within a year I've quit drinking and now I work out every day. And I have friends that are like, whoa, I should get diabetes. <laughs> And I know they're just messing with me, but there's a logic there, you know? But still, it's got to be a better way to get your life together. Like, getting diabetes so then you get your act together would be like becoming a registered sex offender so that you can meet your neighbors. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, weird thing to applaud. Some pedos out there. <laughs> Things are going good, though. I'm finishing up college. Uh, I'm getting my degree in history, so let's hope comedy works out. <laughs> I feel like schools offer history just to make English majors seem useful. Uh, <laughs> I decided to study history because uh, I'm not that smart. History is great if you're dumb. Like, you ever try to learn math? It's impossible. <laughs> You gotta take like equations and then memorize them and then use them. No. History's great. History's just like a guy tells you a story and then you're like, oh yeah, I know that now. I'm a historian. It's fascinating though. History's interesting. Like one little detail about an event can just blow your mind about it, you know? Like I was reading this thing about uh, World War II. This thing I read, it said we won World War II because of cans. Because we had them and the Nazi team didn't. So we could spread our troops out better, we'd feed them, we could shoot more, have more energy. So we won World War II. It's like, oh, that's weird. Because I always thought we won World War II because Hitler made the same mistake Napoleon made. He invaded Russia. So he had to fight a war on an Eastern and a Western front, which was an effort that Germany nor any army in history could really sustain. But <laughs> turns out, no, it was cans. <laughs> cans all on. But if that's the case, it was Hitler's fault because he was such a bigot. Do you guys know that? <laughs> Hitler was bigoted, it came back to bite him because so many of the great minds of the time were German Jews, like Albert Einstein, fled Germany for fear of persecution, came to America, figured out how to split the atom, invented the A-bomb, boom. <laughs> so think about it, had Hitler not acted all Hitler-y, <laughs> Einstein would have stayed in Germany and he would have figured out how to make a can. <laughs> hey, you guys were awesome, thanks so much.